could use one around here full time. Now I shall sink you a song. One, two, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I've got uh. lots to do before it gets dark. <laughs> Take it easy. Where to storm Duntai? Expect armed resistance. The strength of the fortifications remains unknown. Your foes have committed treason. You fight them for the good of the duchy. Captain De La Torre will give you the details. Geralt. Good you're here. Ready to attack Duntine? See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep. We mean to strike here, through the main gate. How many men defend Untyne? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. Sintrian's men, gotta be. Ran into a few in town. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk. But I sense you will handle it well. Let us go. So it begins. Quick! We grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. Kill him! Oh. Watch it all! Help! He'll kill us! I see no ducals along the road. Mm, they must be oh, What was that? The Not good. Ah! 
hurry with those crates. But be careful if you drop any. Someone's here. They've breached the back wall. Come on. Kill him. I'm not hard enough to Wrong damn company. Centrian's men, where are they? Uh, I knew. Shouldn't have let them under my roof. Where's the hostage, the woman? Uh, what? What do you mean? I know nothing about a hostage. Must, must be the handiwork of my guests. Where are they now? In... in the keep. There's someone with them? Woman named Sienna? Of... of course. She... she convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack... packing. We were to leave together. An old fool. I'd have done anything. Where is she? In the... Y yes. What? What will become of me? Hmm. Here, press it against the wound. Should staunch the bleeding. I... I thank you. Giving you one last chance. Yield. The damned harlot got us into this. Kill him! Attack!
need to get into the keep. They shall pay for everything. You could use our help, so... Witcher, this is no time to explain. Where is Renna? Expect to answer a lot of questions inside. Let us go, then. never let them hurt me. I just waited for you to come. I... I didn't know where to look. Now we need only find Anna Henrietta's sister. Mm. The... <laughs> Stop playing. He just fly... He... I... 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 You... Come... What... Your... Your... So... You... We... I... And... <clears throat> Doubt it. Yeah, I want absolutely. I'm in. Huh? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I wasn't expecting to see you two here. We thought you could use our help, so... Witcher, this is no time to explain. Where is Renna? Expect to answer a lot of questions inside. Let us go, then. I'd never let them hurt me. I just waited for you to come. I... I didn't know where to look. They threatened to kill you, I... Forgive me. I failed you.
Now we need only find Anna Henrietta's sister. Where should we look? Do you know? Mm-hmm. Ran into Roderick, Duntine's lord. Told me where I'd find Sienna. Then speak and let's grab her. Time is short. Said she was in a room in the tower. Very one we're in right now. Which, incidentally, looks nothing like a prison cell. And just so happens there's a carafe full of wine here. That it's stolen Saint Real. What's your point? Stop playing dumb. I know everything. Your plan, that this was part of it. Witcher, what is this? Sorry, Dedlaff. You've been had. My friend, please. You must listen to what Geralt has to say. Rena's not her real name. This is Sianna, and Sianna is sister to Anna Henrietta, the Duchess of Toussaint. What? What nonsense is this? Sianna was banished as a child, but it seems she trekked back here recently, moved into Duntine, and ran a Vandergild out of here. Sent a man called the Sintrian to Beauclair to steal some wine for her, wine reserved for the Ducal family. Sintrian led us to her. Caught him later stealing a jewel Sian had gotten from her father as a child. Hmm. Sorry, Dedloff. She used you. Part of her plan. If you do not, I will raise Beauclair to the ground. This I promise you. You've three days. I shall be waiting. He just fly off? He did not wish to act rashly. He's gone to soothe his nerves. Think he'll do it? Make good on his threat? I cannot say. He can be unpredictable when fury consumes him. I shall go to him. Come again? After what he just... You don't know Detlaf like I do. If I don't do as he says, he truly will destroy the city. He's more than capable of it. Conscience gets to you now? Better... Uh, better late than never, right? Well... It truly does seem the best option. Your Grace, we must proceed with caution. Guardsmen saw vampires here. They could still be about. Vampires or no vampires, my sister is here. Find her. Your Grace, that... Sianna, it's true. It's you. Sister, dear, what have you gotten yourself into? So concerned, I'm surprised. Is there an ounce of truth to it? You... You feel resentment. I understand. But I promise, promise we shall work through all the unfortunate matters of the past. We will discuss them later. Captain, escort Sianna to the palace. I shall meet with her as soon as we return. As you wish, Your Grace. <clears throat> and you, Witcher. You have my thanks. I cannot believe my sister was so near the whole time. Roderick of Duntine shall answer for treason and blackmail. He's no traitor, just naive. Let himself be made a fool of, paid dearly for it. Made a fool? Whom by? 
Your sister. She's the one convinced him to let the bandits into his home. We've discovered Siana blackmailed the vampire. Ordered him to kill those men. What? What nonsense is this? She is his missing lover. Staged her own abduction to force him to do her bidding. He was a tool. Whole scheme was Siana's. She was behind it. You're mistaken. You must be. This cannot be true. Your Grace, I know this vampire and... What? You know him? Who is he? Detlaf. The same who so recently sat at my table and told me of Nazaire. Is there anything else you've neglected to mention? A dragon living beneath Mount Gorgon, perhaps? Is anyone else here a vampire? Where is he now? Waiting for Siana. If she doesn't show up to meet him by an appointed time, he'll destroy Beauclair. He dares threaten us? Your Grace, we have three days to bring him Siana and... Not a word. You have three days to bring me his head. No more secrets. No more helping vampires. I want what I'm paying for. The head of the beast. I think her grace's nerves have been calmed. Doubt it. Rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially not threats. Yes, well, even I must admit Detlaf's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. What can I say? It happens at times. Especially likely to when the monster I'm chasing can turn into fog. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? <sighs> it depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit, whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rulers? Usually threaten me with the gallows. A most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. Your grace, the population demands she be punished. Siona's committed terrible crimes. Spilt so much blood, they... Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. I repeat for the last time, Siana is responsible for the death of many, true, but she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison, pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? We're working to find that out, Your Grace. Do you take me for a fool? I... wouldn't dare. I care not one whit what you have worked on, are working on, or shall work on. I'm interested in results, which thus far have been nil. Ah. At times, I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The ducal huntsman releases the hounds, they catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the bachu to it. All within an hour. You, Witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, 
You have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. Allow me to point out certain subtle but essential differences between a higher vampire and a fox, or game in general. <gasps> Truly. Like the ones between a pathetic quip and a treasonous offense. Watch your words, Witcher. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! Oh, they protect the city! Captain de la Tour defends the square near the boat landing, but so many lives lost. Damn it. If it's war this Detlef wants, it's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer and you... Get her out of here. Siana failed to appear as summoned, and there. Detlef was not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Gotta find him. Stop him. Question is how. We've tried everything. That is not exactly true. There is a certain staggeringly dangerous, mind you, way to force Detlef to reveal himself and incite him to fight. That's so. Go on, then. Let me hear it. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detlaf's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. Think Detlaf still believes he... I believe he suspects something. And for that, he's declared war... What can I say? 
moderation with... Really want to free Sienna? It's hard to believe, I know. But Detlef is not actually evil, merely impulsive. Mm. So say I agree to this, because I might. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her... Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely- Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog. There, you see? I knew you'd think of- The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? It seems unlikely it didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. I trust I've dispelled your doubts. Not so fast. We're not done talking. How would I go about luring Detlaf out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen. Mm-hmm, and? Toussaint is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is a... Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the unseen elder. I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta get- You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll- Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf, who'll you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? Crazy as the plan seems, I'll do it. I'll ask Damien about Siana. You won't make me beg. I knew you wouldn't. Slow down. Not promising a thing. Just want to get a feel for the situation to start with. Coming with? Of course. Many hands make light work. Damien could be in danger. Or dead. Do you think so? Geralt, care to come back?
Lesser vampires would heed a higher vampire's call and commands. As a rule, they don't. So how Detloff sick them on the city? I told you, he's exceptional. He man Geralt. Care to come back? Self didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. If we'd only arrived a bit earlier. Another one. Damn it. Mm -hmm. He didn't suffer long at least. They grew a formation. Ran. Claws sliced through steel like through butter. We must hurry. Each moment's delay means another death. Eric had put it in the street. Pointless. That's no obstacle to him. Fell on his face. Struck in the back. Cracked around. They must have realized they could not hold his position. If they found a corner to hide him, there'd be anyone to do Need to look around. Armor proved useless. Claws sliced through steel like through butter. We must hurry. Each moment's delay means another death. They broke formation. Ran. That's it. It's Damien's blood. He was wounded. Let's go. Barricade put it in the street. Pointless. Fell on his face. Struck in the back. Cracked around. They must have realized they could be in this position.
be in the bank, barricaded themselves inside. I cannot let them see. Recognize the You killed it! Single-handedly! That harlot's brood slaughtered half my unit! I see the harlot's brood came close to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw. You and your men. Now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien, conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. Men, tend to the wounded and prepare to march out. Doing the right thing. Now listen close. Silver, that's what you want to use against vampires. Your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can, churn it out in gallons, then coat your blades with it. Keep an eye out for Alps and Bruxae. The shapely ones resemble women. There one moment, gone the next. Bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea. Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Your problem's my problem now. Leave it to me, I'll solve it. How? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Siana. You know the Duchess's decision. Sian. We know it, but we do not agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty. Folk are dying. Many more will, because of one. If Her Grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And ours will follow right after it. Yet still we are prepared to take the risk. I fear we waste our time here. Come, Geralt. Wait. When... When last I saw Siana, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes. Playroom. So what, Duchess Loxian? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. And you've our gratitude. You helped us a great deal. I helped Beauclair. At least I hope I did. Let's go, Regis. Here, the playrooms beyond this door. I suggest we postpone any further discussion. Locked. Of course. Regis. Rather not have a fist fight with his door. Would you mind? Shit. We meant to stand guard, but honor Henrietta's personal request. Thanks. Hmm. Utter silence. No one here. Miniature tableware. And plush toys. Wooden duck. Somebody broke its wings off. 
Nice tune. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose it. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it have... The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly... Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave... By the time I separated them, Anna Rietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so... Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here. A specialist in illusions. Regis, last warning. Stop interrupt. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables, and utter out loud the incantation. A book as the key to an illusion. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. I cannot know what conclusions they drew. Mm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt then that she was dying. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would be- He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Blooder is damn in the melodious tongue of our non too friendly neighbors to the south. Mm. Realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Where's that book? You expect something, apart from the dust swept under there by lazy chambermaid. Huh. Is it? Let's see. Regis? Regis! Land of a thousand fables. Incredible. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me. I 
I have the Hellenes going wild. Whole land's an illusion. Whoa. It's so that powerful, should be interesting no to dispel it. Bloody hell, mm. let him out! Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread! Now it's my turn to gobble him! <laughs> Hands off my hearth, dearie. You wouldn't want me to get cross. Then you open it! Now, who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. as soon as I catch you. Not bad. Come now. You cannot possibly fear of your magical plants. Wicked witch. You've heard of her, haven't you? Now, where did you put that key? Listen, I. How do you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not. Sianna? Is that you? It's been years, Jack. H have you come to play? No, I just want your beans, so you can breathe easy. Beans? What beans? <clears throat> Try not to interrupt. Well, Jack, where are they? Sianna, I, I, I'm sorry, but, but I haven't got them. Something tells me you're lying. 
Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all, hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home, for instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarieta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. B but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have a... Ah, all right. Searching for my lost childhood. Wound up at Care More and his little boy. Don't quite remember how. Never had any toys. Never played any games. What do you think? Why might I be here? It's Deadloff. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Deadloff, all right. But I doubt you came all the- Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Deadloff, he'll put an end- You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare- but normally, I'd tell you to sod off. But, from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Fine, Witcher. This place... Yes, created by Arturius V. Which didn't seem like she was... Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates. Your sister chose a dangerous... It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack. Since you brought it up, the knights Deadloff killed. Not a memory I enjoy revisiting. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy. Like you said, they had their... Mm -hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulak had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bot. Curse of the Black Sun. Mm hmm. Twisted princesses, mu- Even met one of you, Renfri of Creighton. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny, Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. So, what- Hmm. Certainly. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack. Jack. Climbed a gigantic beanstalk to it. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One- Huh. Stock won't sprout from- No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. We needn't fret. Time flows differently in the Fable Sphere. We can stay here a week, yet outside, mere minutes will have passed.
friendliest pixies I've met. They were put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. Meaning you. Oh, unicorns! We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. Care to elaborate? Rather not. No walks here. None at all. This is Grant. I'm all right. Not in any danger. <sighs> That's him. Joss. Last, they're going to rip them in six. Relax, it's over. No, it's not. There's more. Another wolf behind you. Ignore him. He always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't, when they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing! And besides, watch out! Wolves! This'll be interesting. Right, let's... Let's say for a minute you know what happened. For certain, no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of... Everyone! Wolves! Run! Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere. Out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody. Three times over. Help! Wolf! Yellow bean. Hmm. It's somewhere there. And who has it? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in this good folk! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, piglets and bears, three of each, and... Ah. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once, that sort of thing. Stole the pea out from under the princess. Who sleeps to this day, I think. Stop prodding me and find the beans. Three. 
three bears. Three stools, three beds, three bowls. One a bit too big, the other too small, a third just right. Blonde curls. Rest of the body's too mutilated. Hard to say anything. She got what she deserved, as I see it. Always took what she wanted without asking. No being here. Gotta keep looking. Hello? Can we talk? Shmumbach, my aid! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all. Big... And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the... You could always have a drink. Oh, what? No you know what they say about the head. Out of the question! And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? They stripped me off my title and birthright. Listen, looking for me. Mm, I was. Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. Sianna to a T. Listen. I exist to risk it. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks. Good now, what's at the bottom of the well? She and the hunter, which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you. Hmm. Surprised? Think about it. It's a dog's life. So... Don't worry. I'll play with him. No, rather play... That's a relief. Alright. Time to jump in the well. Break a leg. Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. 
Not a problem. Siana can take her place. What? Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> but, Grandmama, what big up- uh, Better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big arms! The better to embrace you with, my dear. And Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? The better to eat you with, my dear! <laughs> Joss said about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They had escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint, I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frock... They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the... They were bandits, bearded, drunk spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader. Of the whole ragged band. Should have stayed there, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps I should have forgotten everything, started a new life. But you know what? There came a point when I thought, you wanted a monster. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and... She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. <laughs> 